In Quebec, a lot of people are freaking out about Donald Trump's threat to impose a 25% tariff on all Canadian goods. Why? Well, one important reason is that Quebec does huge business with the U.S. 75% of our exportations go to the U.S. 87 billion dollars of exportation. Crab, lobster, beef, pork, uh, maple syrup, whiskey. And more than 80% of the primary aluminum produced in North America is actually done here in, in Quebec. There's also aerospace, forestry, all kinds of manufacturing. Most things produced in Quebec eventually end up in the U.S. in one form or another. So if Trump does follow through on the threat, Quebec businesses will feel it big time. Tariffs on all exportation means many, thousands of jobs that can be lost. From uh, businesses shutting down to investments that instead of being done in, in factories in Quebec are done in factories in the U.S. because it's more uh, the environment, the business environment is better to job losses. Uh, that's not what we want. Now Trump has tied all this to border security. And our premier says he has a point. I'm saying it's since 2017 that we have to do something. Uh, remember what happened at Raksam. So it goes both ways. Uh, we have to secure the border. Okay, so they agree there's a problem, but what more can we do? Most experts say we've already addressed it, at least on the illegal migration front. The southern border is way way more uh, uh, problematic for him than the northern border. So it is easy for Canada and Quebec uh, to reassure him on this. In fact, he says Trump's threat isn't about the border at all. Rather, it's a negotiating tactic to try to secure a more favorable trade deal. Donald Trump's view on foreign policy is that of a businessman. It's, it's transactional. So he's trying to leverage a better deal elsewhere. So if that's the case, will Trump actually follow through on this? It's not being alarmist, it's being realistic to be, uh, to be scared today uh, of these measures. He holds uh, a, a great leverage here, so he's going to use it. Other experts say Trump will come to his senses if Canada and U.S. business allies can make the case that his tariff will also drive up prices for U.S. consumers. Americans will actually feel it very, very quickly. And I don't think that Mr. Trump wants to upset Americans. Some experts say there's a larger lesson here for Canada and Quebec. Putting all our exports in one basket may be profitable, but it's also risky. We should try to expand our exports to other countries, for example, Japan and Germany, because we get a lot of stuff from these two countries, but we don't send en enough to, these to them. So bring down the dependence on America so that we are under lower risk of one president coming in and threatening us and the entire country thinking what would happen next.